and rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks, Frank. So, I asked you some questions for your channel, mm -hmm. so your channel members can get to know you. I'm gonna ask me some questions that you may have thought of and they haven't, or that they might want to know about me. If you were only allowed to wear one warm color in your outfits, which of the warm colors would you choose and why? I would choose yellow 100% of the time. <laughs> um, yellow is my favorite color. It is the color of sunshine and to me sunshine is life. It is vitamin D. It is what makes plants grow. I can consider myself a type of plant. I need <laughs> sunshine. Same question, but with cool colors. Teal. Teal. Okay. It's like green and blue. So it's like kind of like less decision making there. What's the specific <laughs> yeah. type of green and blue? It makes me think of the ocean or being a mer person. <laughs> Where did we go today? Oh, whoa! It's freaking beautiful! Time to eat lunch in the sun. Need some more winter vitamin D in my face. Yay! one thing though it's very very weird to be by this kind of ocean inlet and not have my dive gear with me and not be going for a swim I put my toes in earlier and it's just like so much of me just wants to swim and I can't well you know it's middle of winter it's all snowy and cold Ooh. okay 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 good down Have you ever considered wearing a mermaid tail and trying out that experience? I haven't. Have you seen the mermaid content yes. where people wear those beautiful tails? Yes. Uh, I've also seen the price tag of those mermaid <laughs> tails. Because well, they're all made of like silicon and like they make each scale individually and then stick them all together. It's incredible. Yeah, if I could borrow a mermaid tail I would um, the closest I have got to doing that is in free diving there's a thing called well, by, this is by finning mm -hmm. and there is a type of fi flipper that you can wear where your feet are attached together okay and you have to go like this with your feet okay so I've worn one of those mm. <laughs> 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 questions are so hard <laughs> That's my question. How did you make it look so easy to ask me all those rapid fire <laughs> questions without pausing? 
taking forever to think about a question. Because I took a nap <laughs> and you had suggested the idea about 20 minutes earlier. Mm. So while I was napping, I was like, what are things that I know about you that other people don't? Uh, so if somebody offered you either a boat, a stationary tiny home, or a vehicle, like a van, that all have the exact same amenities and living space, but you were either bound to water, nomadic, or stationary land living, which one would you choose? Water nomadic, 100%. Mm -hmm. Choose a boat. Absolutely, yeah. we choose a boat. So is that like, uh, like should everyone be preparing for this to be a sailing channel someday in the no. future? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I, I don't want to be a sailing channel. I want to occasionally sail so that the magic and romance of sailing is never ruined by the amount of expense and hard work. Ah, so yeah. could, could you see yourself as one of those um, tiny home on a stationary barge on the water type people? No, <laughs> I have an even more specific dream. I would love to have a little tiny cabin in a road that has no utilities, uh, no, on an island that has no utilities, mm. no roads, and is only accessible by boat, and then have uh, my big van, tiny home that's mobile on land and can commute between the two. So I'd have a uh. tiny cottage that you could only get to by boat, use the boat for going diving or adventuring, and then the, the van for the land. So like an, your whole life would be a, an alternative living relay. <laughs> to wait till you see what's next. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Look how thick these snow piles are. Like, look how much height the snow has and how blue it is. Like over here, the snow's all dirty and gross. <gasps> Like that's five foot of snow. Hi, Dan. There, there's like a a bit of rock in the sun that's like whiter than the rest. Think like over here. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's like I part see. of a climbing route. Oh. Is that my favorite friend? <laughs> Aww. Here at Golden Hour, a tiny little fleck of sun <laughs> the trees, and then this crazy magnificent waterfall. Get some water to drink and get ready for making dinner. Woohoo! Go get my van because it's so weird going places without my van. If you were a type of dessert, what type of dessert would you be? I would be coconut ice cream uh, in the flavor either salted caramel or cardamom. Oh. If you could only grow five plants in a garden, which ones would you grow? Tomatoes, 
potatoes, lettuce of some description, mm -hmm. squash, and then either chale, kale or chard because it just grows. Yeah, yeah. That's very, very practical, practical choices. Yeah. And then nettle just grows anyway. So it's, yeah, it's, just a, it's a freebie. Freebie! Okay. So with spring coming, what's the item you're most excited to forage? Uh, nettle, definitely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nettle pesto, nettle greens, <laughs> nettle tea. Oh my gosh, so many items. Good um, morning, everyone. <sighs> Just woke up and sometimes in the morning it's freezing cold because the fireplace goes out overnight and it has been easily below zero here and today I can't light the fire because I have to go do a whole bunch of things and I am in a pretty public parking lot so having a van with the chimney smoke coming out not super appropriate yay <coughs> So I'm going to make some hot tea because I can warm up by drinking hot water and hot breakfast and then go do some work and then I think today it's my final day hanging out with Amanda and then I have to hoof it and catch a ferry back to Vancouver Island. I'm really excited about that. Yay! So it's way colder than this outside. And it's about three or four degrees in here, so pretty nippy. And you can tell by looking at how beautiful and frozen my windscreen is. Look at those pretty patterns. That, my friends, is ice. This is my one cup saucepan. My favorite drink in the morning is hot chocolate. And so I have this amazing mint hot chocolate powder. And then I have a beautiful blend of turmeric and coconut milk, coconut oil, uh, turmeric, ground up turmeric. Um, and then I put a little honey in it. So it's like a minty turmeric -y hot chocolate and it's so delicious. It's a good like pep wake up in the morning put garlic chili, garlic paste garlic paste and shiitake uh, chili oil on top of my egg mm. boy is it crispy and delicious mm. so tell me about the issue with your back door <laughs> So the back doors in my latest video, turns out it wasn't frozen shut. The sliding doors and the front doors did freeze shut. The back door of my van, I have been reversing out of my driveway by touch, by brain. <laughs> <laughs> and I may have bumped into the rear spare tire a little too many times and it's bent. Oh, catch. catching. The Not the answer some people might have immediately jumped to when they first heard the question. What did you think was going to be the answer? <laughs> no, I knew that would be the answer. Yeah, the, the catch is bent. Um, the catcher is bent? The catch is bent. <laughs> is this what you want? Have you ever met a dog who likes sticks as much as Frank? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's got one in his mouth and you have two and he's like, what? Do you ever see yourself having a pet in the van, like a dog or a cat or a rabbit or a bird or a snake? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I really want an adventure animal uh, that is my best friend and I don't know whether that would be a dog or a cat that loves water <laughs> so I don't know mm -hmm. I think it will just happen when it happens and I think the animal will choose me mm -hmm. I, I don't think I will choose the animal nice 
Yeah. I got a question for you. Okay. Are you hungry and would you like to go to get dinner? I'm not hungry, but I think by the time we get out of here, we move the vans, we get set up, we deal with your back door issue, <laughs> we get cooking and food's ready, I'll be, then hungry. You'll be hungry. Yeah, then I'll be hungry. <laughs> it's <Okay>. a process. <laughs> I'm so excited! We've got our last dinner planned for tonight. Amanda's van is right here. And... <laughs> oh dear, we're gonna do a sh- Crawling through this little <laughs> hole into the world. <laughs> and we're gonna do a shared potluck dinner to celebrate. Cause I leave tomorrow. Yay! My mechanic has been in Germany and I haven't gotten to see him yet. And now the engine won't start again! Come on! Could we use jumper cables and just give my battery a bit more juice? Yeah, we can try. So like good. So many days. Like weeks. And now the day that I go to leave and I've like started and stopped the van like three times today. And now it's like, nah, I don't think I'll stop now. Ah! This poor little battery. I'm trying to keep my bigger battery alive. So pulled out my starter cables. And we'll see if we can give it a bit of a jump. <laughs> I'm getting a new starter motor. <sighs> I just need to breathe. I've been through this before. It'll start eventually. It's been running fine once it starts.
notification bell. It really helps a lot, especially because I'm such a tiny channel still. And I hope to see you in the next one. Building the step van. And I cannot wait to show you what we've got coming next for the van build. Some big changes. Oh, like I'm so excited. Things like fridges and ovens and furniture and the whole thing is really shaping up. It just kind of hit me. This is my new home. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> I'm such an egg. I can see myself doing this a lot. I'll show you.